It's late. It's late. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Live Free Dine Hard. And today, I have a special treat for you. I'm gonna teach you how to cook and properly eat a spotted dick sponge. Oh yes, there is a dessert called the spotted dick sponge that's in a can like this that I found at my grocery store. And I thought to myself, that sounds interesting. I want to try this. Now I have tasted this before, but I'm not gonna tell you what it tastes like, but I did not. <laughs> I didn't cook it properly. So today I'm gonna teach you guys how to properly cook this spotted dick sponge. That is the weirdest name and I don't understand why they thought it would be a good idea to call it that. In the comments down below, if anyone else has tried this before, Please let me know why it is called this. I know it is, I think it's an English dessert. So let's get started, shall we? There are two ways that you can cook this. Number one is in the microwave. We ain't doing that. We're gonna be a little bit more uh, bougie than that. You're gonna cook this on the stove top and I know that that sounds very weird but it says it on the can that you can cook it on the stove top. Step number one, pierce the lid and place the can in a saucepan of boiling water. <laughs> I'll be right back. Our water is almost boiled. Pierce the lid and place the can in the boiling water. Bring the water back to a boil and simmer for 40 minutes. Man, this dessert is a pain in the butt. So I guess that's pierced enough. Label is off and it is going in the boiling water. Oh my gosh. Man, it's really bubbling over. Okay. That's not working. And we're putting it at a simmer. I guess that's how you do it, but I'm not sure. All right, timer is set. I will be back in 40 minutes to check on our dick sponge that's spotted. This is making me really nervous. <laughs> so it's finally done. So I'm going to try to remove this can from this pan. Well, let me dump the water first. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never cooked a spotted dick sponge before. Oh, there's water everywhere. Now I gotta figure out how to get the sponge out of the can. Alright. Here it is, opened up. Well, you can't see it. That is the spongy cakey stuff. If you can see the plate right here, I'm going to flip this over onto the plate. The reason why I'm doing that, I will explain in just a minute. Oh. One, two, three, go. No idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> there it is. Yay! <laughs> oh my god. Da 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 da. A spotted dick spot. Can you see the details in it? Those black spots are raisins, I believe. Now it is not the prettiest looking thing. According to the label, there is icing on the sponge pudding. There is no recipe for icing. So I decided to put an American twist, I don't even know if it's American, but an American twist and put a mirror glaze on the dick sponge. I've never made a mirror glaze before, so this is going to be interesting. So hold on to your butts, folks. <laughs> I'm kind of excited about this. Why do I look cross-eyed? That is kind of scary. <laughs> I must be more tired than I thought. Okay, so I just read the instructions on what needs to happen for a mirror glaze and the cake needs to be frozen overnight. I guess I didn't prepare for this video as well as I thought. So I'm gonna have to put this in the freezer overnight and we'll continue with this recipe tomorrow once I freeze it. Oh my gosh, this is a nightmare. I completely failed at this. But oh well, you know what? It's a test run. I've never tried this before. I will see you tomorrow, guys. Be back in a little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Ooh. And your hair doesn't want to cooperate with you today. I'm sorry for the atrocity and atrociousness that my hair is this morning. Well, good morning! It is now morning and I have pulled the sponge cake out of, what is this again? Spiced sponge cake is what it's supposed to be. And here it is, all nice and frozen. Can you see the texture now? I bet you can see the texture a little bit better. That's why it is called spotted. Why it's called dick sponge, I don't know. <laughs> So we're gonna 
let this thaw and as it's thawing we're going to be making the mirror cake glaze now. So here we go. Begin to prepare the mirror glaze. Bloom the gelatin in cold water and set it aside while you heat the liquids. Heat the water, sugar, and condensed milk. When the sugar is fully dissolved and the liquid is hot, turn off the heat and stir in the gelatin. Ew. Ew. Gentle. Ew. <laughs> that looks so weird. Pour this mixture over the chocolate. Oh, I think this bowl is too small. Oh my gosh, I need a bigger bowl. Wait about five minutes for the chocolate to melt. Using an immersion blender or a regular blender, blend this mixture until cool. Strain this through a sieve and allow to cool. Your target temperature is about 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Pardon. Jeez. Gosh. There's the spotted dick sponge yet again. It is not a smooth cake, nor will it ever be smooth. We're gonna try to put this mirror glaze on top of a spotted dick sponge, which I bet has never been done before, so I'm the first one probably. Ah! Here's the glaze. This is gonna be tricky. Dip it in the mirror glaze. Pray to God this works. It's really ready. It's supposed to be ready? It is way too thin. I think. Yeah! <laughs> Well, it looks pretty either way. So as I was getting ready to eat this, I realized that there was something that I can try to do first before I attempt it. I'm gonna like completely drench this. When I touch the top of it, it's like sticking like it's supposed to. It's just not as, I don't know, am I supposed to do it more than just this? So what I'm gonna do is pour this entire glob on it. I'm just gonna go for it, guys. Live free, die hard, everybody, here we go. Mm. Keep it going, keep it going. Ew. <laughs> well that, <laughs> that can just, ew. What? What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Done. Yes. That's exactly how it's supposed to look. My goodness gracious. Well, that failed epically. <laughs> Here it is, the finished product. And as you can see, the glaze was definitely not thick enough and it just completely turned invisible and looks like poop. But I mean, it was successful. It just like, there's something wrong with the glaze and I think the cake is still kind of frozen in the middle. I got my trusty knife and I'm gonna cut into the cake. Mm. Oh yeah, it's definitely frozen. This is a weird looking piece. See what it looks like in the middle. There it is. Ooh! Take a gander at the inside of this cake. That actually looks pretty cool. I like it. It's all spotted. So now it's time for the taste test. The official taste test with the icing and everything. So live free, dine hard everybody. Oh, I definitely can taste this. I don't like it frozen. Maybe I should let it warm up just a little bit more before I dive into this thing. Oh, I'm cold. My teeth. Um, I mean, it kind of tastes funny. Not gonna lie. The sponge dessert cake can thing tastes pretty good with the raisins. It tastes like a, a cinnamon raisin muffin. I just wanted to remind you guys that I had no idea that I had something in my teeth the rest of the time I was recording. Just letting you know. That's what it tastes like. But the glaze, because I use that gelatin that doesn't have any flavor in it and stinks like crazy, doesn't really have a good taste with this stuff. So I think the next time I get this, I'll probably just use regular icing that you can make to drizzle on top of it and try to be all fancy and making some mirror glaze crap icing that failed but kind of worked at the same time. I think I just needed to add a little bit more gelatin or something to make it thicker. <clears throat> Don't just eat it directly out of the can. It's really chalky and crumbly in your mouth. But when you take the time to microwave it or whatever you want to do on the stove, it tastes pretty good, not gonna lie. Well, there you have it, folks. Now you know how to properly eat a spotted dick sponge. Thank you so much. <laughs>
Thank you so much for watching this video and watching me make a fool out of myself trying to make this silly little dessert. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and leave any suggestions in the comments below for something else that you want to see me try to make. If you guys have ever tried a spotted dick sponge before, let me know if you have in the comments. And if you have some at home, take a picture of it and tag me in your Instagram or Twitter, Facebook, whatever you want to do. Don't forget to follow me on my other social media pages. I will leave the links in the description below. And always remember guys, life is a beautiful tangled mess and it is our job to make the most out of what we have been dealt with in life and making the best time of our lives. You guys are awesome and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. I just wanted to let you know that I got this recipe from the website chiefiso.com and I will leave the recipe in the description below so you can try to make your own. <laughs> Miracle is if you want to. The things I do for you guys because I think you're so awesome. I'm still trying to figure out why these are called a dick sponge. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to freeze these either. Oh well!